Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Online allows you to track mileage for your company vehicles. Team members that use the QuickBooks Online mobile app can even automatically track mileage for trips they make. However, this feature is currently limited to admin users. Separately, though, you can manually add your vehicles and trips to QuickBooks Online to track mileage in the program for the trips you make with company vehicles. To enter your vehicles and track their time in QuickBooks Online, click the Mileage link in the navigation bar to open a page to the right. To manually enter mileage the first time you open this page, click the Add a Trip Manually link in the page. A graph of your mileage appears at the top of the Mileage page. To view and create your vehicles, click the Manage Vehicles link below this graph to open the Manage Vehicles pane at the right side of the window. To add a vehicle, click the Add Vehicle button in the lower right corner of this pane to show an Add Vehicle pane at the right side of the page. Select the Type of Vehicle from the Type dropdown in the Vehicle Info section of the pane. Type the vehicle's make and model into the Vehicle Make and Model field. Type the vehicle's year into the Vehicle Year field. Choose an option for the Ownership Status setting to indicate whether you lease or own the vehicle. Select when you bought the vehicle from the Date You Bought the Vehicle Calendar Selector field. Enter the date you put it into service by selecting that date from the Date Placed in Service Calendar Selector field. To make this vehicle your primary vehicle for trips, Click the Set as Primary Vehicle toggle switch to set it to the On position. In the Tax Info section, select an option of how to record mileage for the current tax year. If you select the By Recording Odometer Readings option, then enter the odometer's starting and ending values into the adjacent fields for the start and end dates of the year. Alternatively, if you select the By Entering the Total Miles option, then enter the total miles driven in the year into the adjacent field. To then save the vehicle, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the pane to return to the Manage Vehicles pane. The Manage Vehicles pane shows the vehicles you added. To edit a vehicle, click it in the Manage Vehicles pane to show its details again, edit the vehicle's information in the Edit Vehicle pane that appears, and click the Save button again to save your changes. To deactivate a vehicle, click the Vehicle No Longer in Use button in its Edit Vehicle pane. Doing this moves it to a separate inactive list below the vehicle list in the Manage Vehicles pane. To reactivate it, click it to open its Edit Vehicle pane, and then click the Activate button at the bottom of the pane. To close the Manage Vehicles pane when finished, click the X button in its upper right corner to return to the Mileage page. To manually create a trip in QuickBooks Online, click the Add Trip button in the upper right corner of the Mileage page to open the Add Trip pane at the right side of the window. In this pane, select the Trips Date from the Trip Date Calendar dropdown. Enter the trip's distance in miles into the Distance field. Alternatively, to enter distance by selecting a starting and ending address, type the starting address into the Start Point field and then select it from the drop-down menu. Then type the ending address into the End Point field and then select it from the drop-down menu. Select whether the trip was for business or personal use by clicking the Correct Option button. To enter a trip description for business trips, Type it into the Business Purpose field or select a choice from the field's drop-down. Then select the vehicle you used from the Vehicle drop-down. To create a round trip, click to toggle the Round Trip toggle switch to the On position. To save the trip, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the pane. Alternatively, to cancel the trip, click the X button in the upper right corner of the pane. Trips you enter appear in the Mileage page. Below the graph at the top of the page, there are tabs for Unreviewed, Business, Personal, 
and all that you can click to see the associated types of trips. To edit a trip that you entered, click it to open its trip details pane, make your changes, and then click the Save button in the pane. Alternatively, to delete the trip, click the Delete button at the bottom of the Trip Details pane. To perform batch actions on trips, check the checkbox to the left of the trip or trips to select. Then click the Desired button in the black toolbar that appears above the list of trips and, if needed, enter any information that is required in the prompt window that opens or click the green Apply button at the right end of the toolbar. These buttons are Mark as Business, Edit Purpose for Business Trips, Mark as Personal, Change Vehicle, and Delete. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.